Come on, come on. What's going on guys, Ben with FLX Bike and today we're here with the Blade 2.0 to do a hill climb test. I'm super excited to start this test. If there were ever a bike to do a hill climb on, it would be the Blade 2.0. Motor alone is one of the biggest you can get on a mountain bike. It has 1500 watts of peak power and when you combine that with a 52 volt battery, you'll be riding forever and anywhere you want. In addition to that, it has a roll off speed hub on the back which has 14 gears on it, which I can control. Don't even need to be moving to do it. So I'm gonna be able to pick a precise gear, which will get me up this hill most efficiently. Let's get this thing started. I'm ready to go. We just had two guys. I don't know if you can see them all the way up there, walking their bikes up. They made it about halfway, right? That is so steep. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the blade in probably gear six or seven, just to see. I don't think it's gonna make it, but we'll see how it goes. Report back to you. Wow, guys, that was pretty wild. Hell of a ride. Man, am I impressed. Not only was I able to climb this giant hill and pedal assist five in seventh gear, but I also put it down to third gear and was able to climb the hill and throttle alone. You know, we're running out of daylight here, but man, am I impressed with the blade. Over the course of filming this video, We've had several people come by on mountain bikes. All but one, all but one had to hop off their bike and start pushing it from halfway up. So for the blade to be able to come all the way up this high in mid-level gearing, in mid-level gearing is just insane. If, if you're looking for a pow powerhouse, a workhorse, this is the bike for you. Until the next one, guys, I'll see you later. That was awesome. I cannot say it enough. It just ate that hill up. I didn't even have to stand up until the last 20% of the ride when it was at its absolute steepest. Like I anticipated, the thing that this bike struggled with most was just keeping traction. There was no issue with power. It zoomed up the first half, no problem. And only when it got steep did I really have to stand up and give it some, but it's, it's closer to a motorcycle than it is any kind of bicycle, mountain bike, anything like that. If you're in the market and want an absolute workhorse, the Blade 2.0 is the bike for you.